We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. World, brace yourselves. We're one step closer to witnessing Muck and Zuck bare knucks in an online fight to the death. Meta master Mark Zuckerberg today launching Threads, his long-awaited answer to Twitter. I ain't just yeah. <laughs> Threads is being sold as a text-based conversation app where communities come together to discuss everything from the topics you care about today to what will be trending tomorrow. In its first two hours, Threads scored 2 million sign-ups across 100 countries, including Australia. Nice job, team. It's giving people another option in the future to engage on social media in the way that they do on Twitter, when Twitter is kind of a bit of a burning trash fire right now. It's a blow Musk really didn't need. Over the weekend, he started a real twit storm. If you're having trouble using Twitter, it's no accident. Twitter now has a temporary limit on how many tweets people can read per day. Elon Musk just picked a fight with America. The Bluebird boss putting temporary limits on how much content users could view. Users finding themselves locked out once they'd hit their daily max. This is very bad for his brand, terrible for his argument for buying Twitter, and I think breaks the heart of long-time Twitter users. Elon Musk has thrown 44 billion US dollars down the Twitter toilet, which I would say a lot of people think that the entire platform is a bit of a toilet. Right now, people aren't happy, so maybe it's a good time for Meta to be doing this. And despite Musk claiming Twitter's experiencing all-time highs of, of usage. The numbers don't lie. Worldwide, people visiting the site has dropped 7.3%, while Facebook's numbers are slightly up. Maybe it's time we actually got rid of Twitter, got rid of the evil algorithm, and go back to some simpler times. You know, I think we should head back to MySpace because that was a nice time. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Jeez, is that true? That's delightful. And we're not joking about the cage fight. The two could actually face off in the octagon sooner than we think. Like, even Dana White is getting involved. Both guys are absolutely dead serious about this. So, will Musk duck Zuck's nuts, or will the Meta Master KO the King Twit? <laughs> I think he will KO Musk with this, Zuckerberg. Oh, you're talking about the photo or the I think that, yeah. oh, Well, no, I think that this could be the end of Twitter. Yeah, yeah because no. 10 million users signed up for this in just several hours today. Is that a lot? Sam and I among we, them. Well, I came in and Tunny was already on it and then I was like, <laughs> I've got to get it. So I got, um, I've got 197 followers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's don't, pretty don't good. You, don't you automatically right. get your... Instagram followers when you join? Yeah, it says I didn't have a lot of Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know how it works, but there's some people there, they're following me. Yeah. I've tweeted nothing good. Trying to talk yeah. to you two today, though, and while you're both on it, you're like, oh, I cannot sign up to another one of these things. <laughs> anyway, yeah. how many of you got followers? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, was, that was today's meeting. It yeah. is essentially Twitter. Just at the moment, it's quite a nice Twitter. Oh, but, you know, so give it week. time. Yeah. In a week, yeah. it'll be My nice. My 197 yeah, closest friends, we're very supportive. Very Come over. Supportive. <laughs> you're going to love it.